So some satanic it suddenly, some satanic suddenly come through people. They don't all come through people, but some come through people. Sometimes it's betrayal by someone that you trusted. Like the woman that I had to fire for, I trusted her. She had all of our passwords to everything in the entire ministry. I trusted her. I knew her 20 years. So that was a betrayal. It didn't hurt my feelings because it wasn't a close, intimate relationship. It was a working relationship, but I still trusted her, right? Sometimes it comes through a family member or a coworker, right? Sometimes it comes through a stranger. A stranger can, can, can be the satanic suddenly in your life. When I was about 20 years old, I was 20, 21 years old, like five years ago, I um. You'll catch that tomorrow. It's not really funny, actually. I don't look a day over 30. That's where all the women say amen. amen. Listen, I am younger than I, I am. I am a lot older than I look, I'll tell you that. Amen. I'm really 40. Anyway, let's go on. I was driving to, from Orlando. I lived in Orlando. I was going to college there. And I was driving to Cape Canaveral because the shuttle, the space shuttle was going off. And my fiance was a photographer and he worked for a newswire service. And they would let me come and help them. It was really cool because you'd be all right there on the VIP site. <laughs> it's the closest you can, any human can get to the shuttle. It's the closest they let any human get. So you have like all the celebrities out there and they would let me take pictures and they would, you know, you know, process the film and send it off to the wire. It was really cool. So I loved when they let me come. They didn't always let me come, but they sometimes let me come. And I'm driving out there. He already had gone ahead and I'm driving out there and I had just gotten this uh, internship with a place called Century 3 which is one of the biggest film editing studios in the world. It was on the side of Universal Studios and I was so excited because I wanted to be a film editor. That was what I wanted to be. When I would ever go to the movies and when it said, you know, so-and-so editor, A-C-P-E-X, whatever their initials are, you know, for the association, I'm, I would put my name right up there. That was my dream. So I just got this internship. I'm on top of the world. I get to go to the NASA Space Center and have credentials and I would save them because I look cool. Look at me. I was on the Nassau site. And this car came and came, uh, what do they call that? Jackknifed me. Drunk driver and drove away about five o'clock in the afternoon. And I saw him coming, but there was nothing I couldn't get out of the way. And man, I, 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 that really messed me up. My back was really messed up. My neck was messed up. I still have sometimes, you know, it's not, I'm not in constant pain, but it's, you know, it's kind of, there's issues. You know, it, it, I, could, I lost my sense of taste and smell. And when it first happened, it was so bad, I couldn't go to the internship. So I had to give it up. But it was like coveted. Like it was hard to get this. I actually had to I had pull, pull favors from other people in the media industry to get it. And I, I couldn't go for several weeks. I couldn't do anything. I was really messed up from the accident. So I lost the internship. See, the enemy came to steal that. He comes with suddenly to steal what God has put in your hands. But the good news is, is that God will repay. Amen. Whatever the devil stole, God works it together for good. He will. He'll pay you back double, triple. And so we have to remember that in the middle of the satanic suddenly, yeah, it looks like you lost something, but God is so good, he gives us beauty for ashes. But we have to sometimes go back and take what the devil stole. Remember when David went Ziklag and they, they, took, they took all the wives and the kids and he went in and took all the wives and the kids back with his men, right? And they had so much loot, so much spoils. That he, he, he sent presents to all the different elders of Judah that he had made friends with because he had so much more than what he lost, Amen. And so that's how God does it. So when we're going through these satanic suddenlies, we need to remember we just have to stay the course because God will repay us. God will restore us. God will bring recompense. It won't necessarily be exactly what you lost. Some things can't be replaced, you know, you know, quid pro quo, but, but it'll be something better or something that will bring you joy. <laughs>